We're in the middle of the Riverina, which is the heart of the breadbasket of New South Wales. Because we've got lots of farms in the area and they're predominantly cereal or grazing country, we have a lot of native veg on the roadside reserves. So it's very important that we protect that, that vegetation. Our roadside reserve project was a partnership, taking a place at 18 months, and it was funded by the local government New South Wales with, with funds from EnviroTrust. But locally, we partnered with Lockhart Shire. Initially, we sat down with Carl Tipler from um, CT Enviro and identified roads where we felt there was good vegetation. Carl and, he, and his team went out on site, did the environmental assessment. Roadside reserves are basically links throughout the landscape that allow our natural assets or our native species to, to disperse through. And often out here, that's the only kind of bushland left in a, in a big agricultural landscape. We spent about 40 days in the field to assess the conservation significance of roadside vegetation within the Wagga and the Lockhart local government areas. We did over 200 assessments. After all the data was collected, we started to develop the roadside vegetation management plan for both Wagga and Lockhart Council. By using something like Eco Roadside and the, and the attached database, all assessments are done using a method developed specifically to assess conservation significance of the roadside. That then gives every council that uses this platform the same data output, brings everyone on the same page to manage this ecological asset within the roadside corridor. With Local Government New South Wales, we ran four training workshops for different organisations across the state local government staff coming along using their Eco Roadside app and then understanding um, the power of this fast data collection and, and then also how to pull data down out of the cloud database. Having already the management plan submitted, we can take those actions straight into the strategy. So if that's weed control, identifying significant um, vegetation communities, restoration of different corridors, um, we can implement that straight into our strategy big picture and long term stuff. If we've got roads that we know are high conservation value, our strategic planners will, will be able to identify them from a desktop study before they actually think about growing the city in a certain direction. First and foremost, we've got to bend it to the environment. We're understanding better what's going on out in the environment and how we can um, improve environmental attributes, but also how it can save us planning time and money. It's definitely a worthwhile project. The end goal is definitely well being worth it. Hopefully through using this roadside app and the developing the RVMP for Wagga Council and, and also Lockhart, we'll see better managed roadside reserves um, in terms of managing for biodiversity and create a linked landscape throughout both LGAs so we have thriving biodiversity for, for future generations. Mm -hmm.